What is up Arkeeter, CC Passion Arkeeter here. I want to thank all of you guys for your 100, 100 subscribers. They mean so much to me you guys, thank you. And with that, I'll be doing a 100 subscriber special. Today, I'm going to be touring a Jedi Castle located in Wombard, Illinois. Yeah, they, they got a few new games in there re recently. And they got rid of a few of the old classic games that, that, that I used to love unfortunately yeah but i'm not going to be telling you what new games he got and what games he got rid of just yet you guys i want you guys to be surprised once i go inside the dinner castle and yeah so stay tuned for that and yeah so without further ado let's see what what new games that he got and what games he got rid of and what they have and what it looks what a dinner castle looks like today let's do this <coughs> Uh, just needed to clear my throat. <laughs> yep. It's a pretty big place. A big place. And yeah. Yeah, just so you know, it's gonna be really loud, so I apologize if you can't hear me. Alright. There is what's it. So here, so here is what it looks like. I have a really unique prize for Deficit Center. I have a lot of prizes in here. As you can see. Yeah. And they recently got new. Uh, they got they got new casino spots, which he got which he uh, got um, a year ago. And yeah, I think this is where the party room is, and this is where the, the bowling alley is. That's on uh, Highway 66. They got this uh, a few years back. And yeah, there's some more prizes they have right here. And yeah, I like the Jenny Castle guy. He looks really cool. So here is what's there are sneaking to have. And yeah, this is a photo booth that's called Fun Up Photos from Team Play. Yep. This is an area where. There, oh, uh, uh, that's okay. So, this is the area where the kitty, kitty rides are. And yeah. This is uh, the monkey business um, merchandise or anything. There's some cool prizes in there. They have, even a big bag of Skittles. That's cool. Yeah, I hope I see, you heard me say that right. Yeah. There's a kitty cruising. There's a carousel they have, which is actually made by Aoya Games, I think. They've been having that carousel for a long time now. They have a sweet stuff on uh, Candy Cream, which is actually the cheapest uh, game to play in here. It's only because it's a play. But the rest of the games are more expensive, which, which I'm disappointed about, but that's okay. This is an uh, airplane ride, and then a jet ride. This is actually made by True Attack, the company made Time Food, and maybe Motion Feeder Ride. And now, uh, so here's the inside where the restaurant is, and where uh, the show is at, where I, I actually don't know what the, city, where the show is called. And now, uh, so here's where the party is at, and where the show is. Yeah, I think this is a party room, I'm pretty sure. And this is where you could order food. Yeah. This is where you, you get the food from, it, 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 and this is the food they have, and yeah, let me get a little close up. Yep, I think it's called Keen's um, Kitchen, and yeah. Yep, there's, um, I think this is where the restaurant is. I know. No, let's no. Without further ado, let's get and see what more games they have. And yeah, the store of the the, the the really tall basketball crane. That's called Street Fowler. Yeah, they have some really cool basketballs in there. And yeah, they have power tickets here for Baytech. They have jersey wheels. This is really tall. Never saw this in baby arcade places this much. But the jackpot you come up to is 10,000 tickets, which is pretty high for that game. And yeah, and this is a game. This is a game that's actually one of the rarest, called Squiggle. Yeah, I never seen this game in too many arcade places at all. Yeah, Un yeah. This is actually made by Baytech, which they released uh, a few years back, but unfortunately, it wasn't really a hit. Yeah, they only Baytech only had a production pool for a year, which is pretty disappointing. But at least the Jenny Castle still has this game. Yeah, 
And over there, this is uh, where the uh, monster crane is at. Yeah, this is a uh, monster crane uh, uh, claw machine. Yeah. It's pretty well, of course, though. I hope you know what I mean. And yeah. This is just, um, um, I think it's an air blower. It's called Up and Away from Universe of Space. I have the Sips of Soccer from Coastal Amusements. I have Scooby Doo from Bay Tech. Which, um, I never saw this game in too many arcades either. But I think it's a really a good walking game. And yeah, this is Swish Little Basketball from Bay Tech. Which actually, uh, they released back in 2012. It used to be called Little Hoops, which they released back in 2002. Which had a production for a decade. In 2012, they upgraded it to Switch. And, and, as you can see, maybe, um, as, as you can see here, and I'm um, shooting some hoops in. And yeah, and over here, this is what it, this is what's really cool. They still do shooting games. They have Cannibal Blast from Baytech, and they have old classic Big Mouth 2000 from. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this word, but it's called uh, Medic. I hope, I hope you know what I mean. And yeah, I'm not really good at, at pronouncing some certain words. And yeah, so basically, uh, Medic used to make those shooting games uh, years ago, back in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s. And then Baytech, I uh, bought them out in 2003. And then Baytech created their own couple of couple of, uh, some of the, couple of their own shooting games, like Sky Masters, but we used to fall 2003, and and Horseplay, uh, which is similar to Big Block 2000, except it's a horse version. Uh, back in spring 2004, then six years later, Baytech actually created another shooting game called uh, Kettle Blast. Which is similar to Horseplay, except instead of knocking down the steep, you actually knock down the boat. Which, uh, Baytech will release back in, uh, 2010. And, uh, I never saw this game in any arcade place. This is actually the only place that, that still has, um, uh, Kettle Blast. And, yeah. So I'm, I'm so glad that they still have it. If you guys ever want to play these shooting games, play sh shooting games like these again, go to the Jenny Castle Lombard. And, yeah. They have Ice Wolf X, Ski Ball, from ice and yeah they have a really cool DC superheroes coin for sure yep which I'm pretty excited about that is still that I mean I mean that uh it's a really cool uh coin for sure and I think you guys should check it out and yeah and what I'm really sad about is that um that this area was used to be uh this is actually where I was talking about this area used to be uh full of token games in there and coin pressures too yeah sadly they used to have token games like wonder wheel smoking Dog extreme real deal basket fortune and a couple coin versions including that that's actually right in the middle here called the alvis and uh and the foot two one was like i think it was right there but all of them we got rid of a few months ago um or a couple months ago which i'm very sad about and yeah but it still is an old classic uh Two is an old classic called Rema, actually. They used to have his, um, they used to have his, um, uh, at Jenny Castle a few years ago, but they got rid of it, unfortunately. But they got it back, um, uh, a year ago, which is pretty cool. Made by Bradley. Yeah. There's Monster Drop, similar to Swam Winner. Yeah. It's a year, um, as well as now, a year ago, almost a year ago, I got the Monster Drop for, for the first time ever in my whole life. So you haven't uh, saw that yet? Please go, go check out on, in my go check that out on my YouTube channel. And yeah, there's Pig Out, another great tech great tech game. It's actually a kitty game. And yeah, and this is the area where uh, the baby hockey is. Uh, just the yeah, baby air from uh, ice. So I'm gonna give you guys a little closer look. This is where the quick coin game, the token games are, and I'm really sad that they got rid of them. And, uh, and yeah, uh, so I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty sad about that. But, but, well, now that uh, that uh, arcade games, now that they use uh, card readers instead of tokens, well, not too many arcade games have uh, games that use tokens anymore. And yeah, so I'm, I'm devastated about that. But I'm, but at least I have great memories of having some, having, of them, the Jenny Castle having some token games like Wonder Wheel, Saito, Smoky Token Extreme for Beta, Wheel Deer for Benchmark, and Best Gift Fortune for Fairy Fun Company, Coach Wood for Fairy Fun Company, and then always Coach Some Use Fans. 
sorry for being repetitive. I just forgot the, the names of the manufacturers. And yeah, and it's, it's really hot in there too. And now, now moving on, they have uh, Power Roll, which is actually one of the newer games they have, which we got a couple a couple years ago. And yeah, this is it's actually been pretty, Power Roll has been very popular with Sega. Yeah, it's been it's been a big sour for them. And yeah, and they have Ticket Time from Spawn of the Streets. Yep. Yep. Unique tickets. And yeah. They have a full studio to watch. Yeah, that's a really big humongous photo Yeah, as you can see here. And yeah. And now I'm about to show you what uh, two new games they got. They got the King Kong of Skull Line with VR, which they got this new VR, this virtual reality. Uh, like, I think it was over a month ago that they got this virtual VR. This is brand new from all real. Yeah, well, first for we said, um, I think in the last year, early of last or early this year, they released that. And yeah, it's and yeah, and another virtual reality app is the uh, the VR Rabbits, which is actually uh, uh, from Ali Games. Yeah, uh, which they released a few years back, but now uh, simulators seem like they started to become uh, more popular again. I mean, the simulators are starting to. Be they become more popular than you are. It's more popular, which, which is cool. And yeah, and then new, another new game they have is Monopoly Rolling Go for Mice. Yeah, this is actually on our, I think this is uh, the newest secret dash game that Jenny Castle has. And it's been, uh, been and, and Monopoly Rolling Go has been uh, very popular actually. I said that Monopoly Rolling Go is the best video redemption game in the deck, which is really cool. And yeah. So I hope this does well with Jenny Castle. Over here the Big Bass Wheel. Of course it's been a big seller for Bay Tech. Yep. Stu rates very well for Bay Tech. Yep. They have an old classic spin and win. Yep. Yeah, this game is actually like ski ball, but then uh Bay Tech actually took over that game in 2016 and then upgraded it in 2017. And Jenny Castle still has this, which which is pretty cool. It's big too. Over here, these are a uh, couple games. They're kitty games from uh, Bob Space Racers, Crazy Can, Crazy Cans, and Dog Pound. There, yep. Over oh, there, this is a Winner's Cube Merchandiser. This is another old classic game, Bozo's Grand Prize game. They've been having this for a long time now. They still have this old classic bucket game. Yep, from Ice. They will be back in 1997, which and and and, and yeah. And over here, this is Swamware, the old classic Swamware, which actually used to be tokens, where you put at least three tokens in, and which is, um, yeah. But then now, but then now that their tokens are gone, they like they no longer have tokens. Where like where, where you get tokens or the deck uh, tokens to play uh, token games, they put a uh, card reader, Swamware. I forgot to mention that you used to have a token machine where you suck the card and get tokens, but that's gone unfortunately. And yeah, this is Baseball Pro from Endermero. Jam was over a thousand, which is pretty high. They have Milk Tick Toss. Yeah, and oh, and this area is where the, the carnival games are. Yeah, they have Milk Tick Toss here. They have Hoopla, one of the newer games they have. They have Gold, gold Fishing. Monsters Drive Extreme, they have the Angry Birds Arcade. Yep. They have Beam My Class and Down the Clown. Yeah. The Angry Birds Arcade is pretty cool. They used to have this uh, demo bus like six years uh, six years ago. And then uh, uh, then I started to shift that game to more family entertainment centers, including Shadow Castle, which that's pretty cool. And yeah. Over here this is a uh, uh, Gold Run Rush. The job was actually used to be uh, maxed on uh, 999, but now it's 500, which is still not too bad. It's still a high job. It's still only 300, I think, but it's 500 now. 500 now, which is not the worst. Should I have had? And yeah, uh, this big by name Call, actually. They have Crank Cap Evolution from Baytech, which actually, Baytech recently created a new theme wheel family game that's similar to Crank and called Midatari Cans, which, well, unfortunately, uh, it hasn't been doing the best. Because, well, since the pandemic hit, which they actually will be sick in early 2020, and the sales has been really down for that game, which I'm pretty disappointed about, disappointed about that game. 
and now and basically it's going to retire that game by the end of this year because of the license from it's going to expire because um they know they don't um because of, they, the license actually is owned by universal and they're going to it's going to expire by the end of this year unfortunately so it's pretty disappointing and and yeah but basically those are new games but we see put in hypernova x master and rock the rim and, and which is which shows have been doing pretty well well x master Rock the rim has been doing very well and hypernova has been doing okay and yeah oh man this is popping extreme a big balloon game that's another older one they have and yeah they have a fun song frame from coast to coast that's called trolls actually Trolls World well Tired, which that movie was released was, 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 was a year ago. I know. They have Deal or No Deal Deluxe, which actually this program is original version, which I don't know how that happened. But that's okay, though. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> they, have, they have a Wizard of Oz Coin version, which that has been incredibly popular for me lot. Yep. And um, Jenna Castle, it's been very popular, Jenna Castle. And they still have this game here. Yeah, and it's still incredibly popular at the Jenny Castle. And yeah. And over here they have Black and Win, which it's been doing that's uh, another old Carnival game series Carnival Classic game series. It's been doing very well. Yeah, from ice. And yeah. Over here there's the stinky feet from Bob Space Racers. Yeah, which uh Jenny Castle got a few years ago. Yeah, that's um that's also um um yeah, so that's just a water gun game, and actually, if you get, uh, you get, um, uh, four, at least four people, two to four people play the game, and if you, the first person wins, you can get a ticket, and they can get cool prizes, like these, for example. And yeah. Over here, the Jurassic Park Arcade. Yeah, uh, from Lost Rails, it's been doing very well. And yeah. Oh, yeah, these are card readers, where you can get a car to play. And now, over here, this is another uh, simulator. No, not a simulator. Uh, similar. It's called. It's a virtual. The it's a virtual reality called Beat Saber, which Jenny Castle got over a year ago before the, the pandemic hit. And yeah. And over here, they have great piano keys, great tech. Yep. And they have um. They have the Injustice Arcade from Walt Cruz. Which they got a few years, Jenny Castle got a few years back. That Bobber Card Live, which actually doesn't accept cards, it just accepts uh, dollar bills or single day. And, uh, and these are some pictures that people have won over the years. Oh my goodness, this was really old. These are some old games back then. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, this is over the years. Did he want to play? That's pretty cool. Yeah. And over here they have a real fortune from ice. I and yeah. They have the Mario Kart GB Deluxe. The cycle, which actually um they also used to have this a few years back, but they got rid of it. But uh, two years but over a year ago they got it back actually. And this was actually used to be from Hot and Trails and uh Port Bank, but but Jenny Castle but the family was transferred to um Jenny Castle, which is pretty cool, and yeah, there's The Walking Dead, similar to Jurassic Park, except um, except it was um, except it's a different theme version. And I also forgot to show you guys that um, that uh, over there it is where um, Payoff Park Team Breathing is. I forgot to show you that. That's also similar to that, but except it's different. And yeah. Uh, this is uh, Tomb Raider from a journal amusement, which normally a journal amusement makes uh, uh, maybe uh, video redemption games, but they make uh, they sometimes make um, this, the standard videos or uh, just video games, including Tomb Raider. And yeah, this is actually a smaller version of it. There's a bigger version that they have at an older game buses mostly, but this is actually a smaller version of it. And yeah, <coughs> I apologize. If I if you guys hear me too loud, it's really loud here and my throat is kind of a little sore. And yeah. Over here this is another new game they have called the Tarzan Boo. This is a big cool machine they have. This is full tickets. It's really cool. And it went up to I think it went up to um I think five thousand tickets at least. Which that's really cool. 
Yeah, it's called Tazamahi Mini. I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize for that. And yeah, so it's pretty cool that he got this too. And yeah. Oh, we already have a Superstar uh, merchandise, which is full of really big tickets. Which, uh, that's cool. And yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not sure my tickets went, but it's probably gonna be a lot. And yeah, uh, I and I think it's the area where it shows is where you had to like uh, the mini golf, go cars, laser tag room, the the capital trail ride, the the play, the playground for kids area, kids kingdom, which is over there, which I'll show you guys soon. The restaurant, which I showed you back over there. The Harry Six Six Point. The Rise of Fancy Maze and just uh, and, and Baba Cars. And yeah. And you still have a really old classic merchandise called American. Uh, Amer I think it's called American. No, no, no. Sports Arena. I got it all on. It's called Sports Arena from American Sammy. Which you probably saw me what a prize at Nickel World in Rockford in Illinois. And yeah, I'm not trying to brag or anything. Yeah, they still have this merchandise here, and they could also win tickets too, which is pretty cool. And yeah, over oh, here, this is uh, they have a uh, Space Invaders Frenzy Video Redemption game. They still have this game has been doing very well from all rails. And yeah, over here, these are some racing games Batman, Superbikes 2. They still have those racing games and old classic racing games, and yeah. Oh, we're at Speed of Light, which has been doing very well from LAI Games. And, and yeah. This is a, a really old classic simulator called Mary Motion Feeder from Troy Tech. They still have this here. And yeah. Oh, they have, they have furniture effects here from Majora Amusements. They've been having this game for a long time now. They have, uh, they have and oh, wait, this is actually another one of the newer games they have. Skiba Glow, which it got a couple years back. Now, they actually used to have Skiba Modern, which may take away to uh, actually the Farmer Fusion version in 2015, and it changed it into Skiba in 2016 after Vitek bought them out and bought Skiba out in 2016. So then, a few years later, Vitek created Skiba Glow in 2019, and it will be in 2020. And yeah. And, and over here, that the explosive. Uh, balloon game which is similar to uh, Pop It For Gold except it's a uh, newer version yep this is actually me on benchmark games and yeah uh, over here they have Treasure Quest from Ice Ice still has this game in production which is really cool and yeah over here they have a Subway Surface B Redemption game from Postal Amusements and yeah uh, oh oh my goodness I didn't even see this there the screen is gone for some reason Oh my goodness, I did not see that. It's strange. Oh boy, I hope they don't get rid of it. I would stink if they would. And yeah. Over here, they have Crazy Curve. Similar to Spin and Wind, except it's uh, taller and more skinnier. And and uh, this is actually what we're doing. This was actually what we spent, I think in 2013 to 2015, this was released. About uh, two years before Baytech got uh, bought people out. And yeah. And over here they have uh, uh, Monopoly, which you probably saw that they have Monopoly Mobile. Ice also, ha uh, they also have Monopoly uh, Video Redemption, which uh, Ice released this game uh, back in 2013. As you can see here, in here, the, the screen. And yeah, and then, uh, well, it didn't really do the best, unfortunately. Well, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, I don't know if that's for sure, but in my opinion, I don't think it did very well. Yeah, that's my opinion. And yeah, but Monopoly Mobile Go has been doing very well. And yeah. And over here they have one of my favorite games to play of all time. Pop to Lock. From Bay Tech. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> they have the uh, box here right here. I don't know. It's made by. I don't really know. Oh, actually, wait, I do know. I think it's made by this company called Pagamut. I don't know how to pronounce it. And yeah. And also I apologize if you can't hear me once again. It's really loud here and I apologize for that. And yeah. Oh, we did have Flabby Bird uh, Video Redemption, which actually that was uh, Faithlake's very first Video Redemption game. And uh, back, well, it was back in 2014. And they also created a merchandising version. And 
uh, in 2015. All the way over to Cruising Blast. One of the newer games they have. Walkthroughs actually will be Cruising Blast in the Nintendo Switch. As in the Nintendo Switch game, which is so cool. They will be still back in September 14th, which is so cool. You guys should buy it. Buy Cruising Blast as a, a game in the Nintendo Switch. And yeah. Uh, oh, we're gonna do some sports games. We couldn't have court hoops from Fairy Bunk Company and Sonic Sports Basketball from Sega. And have a gigantic collect board hoops from Baytech. That's been doing very well for Baytech. Very well. And yeah. And over here, this is NBA hoops. Yeah, from Ice. And a couple more cranes. Dog catcher, blanking. Dog catcher from Coast to Coast and blanking from uh, Coast to Amusements. And over there, they have a really tall Slime Winner Extreme for Benchmark. Similar to Slime Winner, except it's an extreme version. Yeah, that's another older one. They've been keeping that for a long time too. And now, yeah. and over there, these are a couple more table games. And there's another Wheel Family game, Ticket Monster for Baytech. That's also been doing very well. These are some table games, including the uh, the Galaxy Coalition from uh, Bar Games. I can't pronounce it, but here's the logo, so you guys can see what it looks like. And this is a Sonic uh, Sports Hero Hockey, similar to the uh, the Sonic Sports Basketball, except it's an air hockey table, the uh, air hockey table machine version. And yeah. All right, over here they have bumper cars, which. Uh, this actually just used to be an area, this was an area that the mini golfers used to be at. But, uh, and Bumper Cars was used to be uh, right over there, and then Bumper Cars was moved over here where mini golfers used to be. And yeah, uh, and this was a, uh, 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 this is a cool ride, I don't know what it's called, but it's called, I think it's called, uh, Cap N or something. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. And yeah, uh, and over here they have a really cool Dance as Revolution, that's the, uh, the 2018 edition, yep, of Dance Dance Revolution from, from uh, Family Mero, and yeah. And over here they have another Simon winner, yep, this is actually another one they have. And yeah. Uh, and then over here they have is uh, Monster Drop Chaos, right here. Yep, similar to Monster Drop, except it's a... Uh, well, version where you uh, press the button and try to get to the KS. Yeah. And, and yeah, which is pretty cool. And actually, I've got, I've got a KS a few times. Yeah, actually. I'm not trying to buy it or anything. And yeah. And over here, this is uh, the, where the playground is. Where the kids can play in, in it. And yeah. And also, I, I forgot to show you a uh, uh, few of the other games. Yeah. Over here they have Sync It, yep, from Baytech. Yep, yep, Baytech has been making that game for a long time now, and, well, it's not as popular as much as it was used to, but it's still doing, it's still doing fine. It's still doing, it's, been, it's still doing, it's still doing good in some arcade places, and yeah. And then, over here they still have a coin pressure, which is a price is my point call. They still have this coin pressure here. I think it's the only game that still has tokens in it. Where do you get tokens at? Which is pretty cool. And yeah. And, and over here, this is another coin machine. It's a fun zone crane. It's actually for minions. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, it's all poster of the Speaker Only 3. And yeah, so. And, and, and yeah. And actually, Minion Twilight of Gru. Uh, it actually was supposed to be in theaters uh, last year, but then uh, the, pa the pandemic hit, and then it was supposed to be theaters this year, but they delayed it to next year, which really stinks. And and yeah, but it's but it's just really cool minions in it. Yeah. Over here, these are some cranes they have. They have another point king. They have a point king claw machine. Uh, that's another one. Uh, uh, they have another one here that's for squishies, I think. Which, those are, I think they're pretty cool. And yeah. They have a toy soldier claw machine, which is also for squishies. And they have a point about that's camp. And yeah. And they have another point king claw machine that's for ducks. And all of those are made by Coastal Amusements. And yeah. Oh, but they have another old game called Red Hot for benchmark games. Yeah, and over here they have uh, the Transformers Shadowwares. Yep. 
is actually another one of the newer games here. It looks like it's out of order or something. It was just on, I think, but it's off, unfortunately. And yeah, but it's really cool. That I've never seen this game at too many arcade places, so, but they they hit. But it's cool that Jenny Castle has this. And yeah. And over here, these are some kitty rides where the kids can play it. And, uh, yeah, where the kids could ride on it. It's pretty cool. I remember when you have a, uh, they have a teacup ride, which is pretty cool. And yeah, they have a dolphin star, um, dolphin star. Uh, right, I, I think this is also, I think it's just made by, I think it's made by whatever this company is right here. Oh, and it, it's made by this company and uh, Barnard Games. And yeah, and this is another, this is a really old uh, kitty ride, I think. I think it's a Superman with a train, which I think it's pretty cool. And I have no idea what this is. Please comment down below to tell me what this thing is. And yeah, never heard of, never really know what this is, what that thing is. And yeah, and over here this is an area where it takes you to uh, Razor Tag, uh, Mini Golf, and Go Kart Test. And yeah, there's a vending machine over here for drinks. They have a co-op machine called Wheel Prices from Coast to Coast. This is an old one that they have. And cool, candy, cotton candy in there. And yeah, and this is where a razor tag is. And as you can see here, the TV screen. This is pretty cool. And yeah, oh boy, this playable is scary. Oh no, we gotta get away. <laughs> it's creepy. And yeah. Over here, this is where this is where mini golf is. Which actually, like I said earlier, there was used to be mini golf that's actually where the arcade is. But uh, then they got rid of it. They took it down, and then then few years later, they got this mini golf place. Which uh, which is pretty cool. It's um looks like a Halloween version. And yeah, over here, they have another claw machine. It's called Sports Pan Bus. Yeah, that's what uh, that's from Ice, and have some balls in it. And, and yeah, and, and I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's a photo booth, another one that they have at Jenny Castle, and yeah, and I have another photo booth that's a cap, with a pumpkin, yeah, it's getting close to Halloween, you know, so, Jenny Castle seems like they have Halloween photo booths, which I think that's pretty cool, and yeah, and finally what I, show you, what I want to show you is uh, they have, uh, they have go-karts, and there's another photo booth over there, and yeah, so this is another. This is our last video to show you. Out right here, at go karts. And yeah. So do you have it, folks? That's it for the tour. At Jenny Castle, lo located at One Bar, Illinois. Yeah. So I want to. Uh, also, I want to uh, apologize once, once again to you guys once again for. If you, if, once again, if you guys couldn't hear me while I was at Jenny Castle, especially when I was wearing the mask, because it's really loud in there, and yeah, and also, and and uh, and also, I want to thank you guys uh, once again for for your 100 subscribers. It means so much to me, you guys. Thank you, thank you for supporting my channel for almost a year now, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tour at Agenda, at Agenda Castle. Please be sure to subscribe down below so you will get the notifications for my future videos. Please leave a good comment, not a bad comment, and smash the like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.